ये वीडियो करीब एक महीने पहले रिलीज़ होना चाहिए था लेकिन ये मेमोरी कार्ड गुम हो गया था इसलिए मैं ये वीडियो एडिट नहीं कर पाया फाइनली मिल गया है इंटरनेशनल जायज डे एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग इवेंट है जो कई जगह पे मनाया जाता है अराउंड द वर्ल्ड और उसी दिन काफ़ी सारे गिग्स कॉन्सर्ट्स एक साथ होते हैं बॉम्बे में भी काफ़ी जगह अलग अलग वेन्यूज़ पर इंटरनेशनल जायज डे की गिग्स हुई तीन वेन्यूज़ मेरी इन्फॉर्मेशन में है एक वेरेंडा एक है एंटी सोशल और एक है एन सी पी है जहाँ पे मैं बजा रहा था सबसे इंटरेस्टिंग चीज़ इस दिन की ये होती है कि काफ़ी सारे म्यूजिशन दूसरे म्यूजिशन से मिलते हैं बेस प्लेस दूसरे बेस प्लेस से मिलते हैं मैं भी काफ़ी सारे बेस प्लेस से मिला इवनिंग बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग थी और शेल्डन ने ये भी बताया कि वो साउंड चेक कैसे करता है अभिषेक ने शेल्डन का बेस ट्राई किया शेल्डन ने अभिषेक का बेस ट्राई किया टू सी दैटअप एन एवरी मैं शूट कर रहा था मैं कुछ नहीं कर पाया इंटरेस्टिंग कहानी है चलिए शुरू करते हैं नमस्कार मैं हूँ सौरभ सुमन आप देख रहे हैं द स्कूल ऑफ बेस आज इंटरनेशनल जायज डे है बहुत सारे आर्टिस्ट आपको दिखाऊंगा मैं जितना रिकॉर्ड हो सकता है करूंगा तीन चार जगह जायज डे हो रहा है आज हम लोग एन टाटा थिएटर में बजा रहे हैं आज आज बहुत सारे बैंड हो जा रहे हैं अलग अलग सेट्स सबके छोटे छोटे गाने होंगे तीन चार तीन चार दी अमेजिंग राहुल वाधवानी बहुत मजा आने वाला है ग्रेट प्यार कितने सेट बजा रहे हैं आज चार सेट बजा रहा हूँ मैं अभी ऐसा ट्राई मत करना नमस्ते माइनिंग इज हर्ष भावसार सैक्स प्लेयर और थर्ड अप्रैल को हमने यहाँ पे कॉन्सर्ट बजाया था राजीव राजा के साथ उसकी क्लिप्स हैं वीडियो में नहीं है ग्रेट गाय ग्रेट सैक्स प्लेयर दिस इज राज जो कंपल्स बॉक्स स्टूडियो है वो इनका है क्या क्या करते हो आप बता दो सब कुछ करता हूँ रिकॉर्डिंग प्रोड्यूसिंग लाइव सेशंस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो शेयर यू रिकॉर्डेड देयर नो हाय यस यस सो दिस इज द ओके सो प्रोड्यूसर बेस प्लेयर बेस प्लेयर आई थिंक प्राइमरीली गिटारिस्ट हुआ एक्चुअली नॉट नॉट बेस प्लेयर आई आल्सो जीनो जस्ट वोक अप जीनो जस्ट वोक अप आई शावर एवरीथिंग आई शावर आई जस्ट वोक अप तो ही शावर इन वर्क स्माइल Hi, this is Eden. Hey, <laughs> so extra. The sound guy was different, you know. Yeah. So yeah. say I hi. Mean, Just say hi. hi. <laughs> Two guys. Yeah, put some snacks on the table. Huh? Yes. This yes. side table. Yes. This side table. Yeah. So it's there's like snacks. Snacks, snacks. 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 Snac
And uh, the dry cleaner from Des Moines. It's the sorry English name. Only that. Padi English bhi nahi hai na. सो नाउ अंकल लुईज बैंड इज सिंगिंग अ साउंड चेक मैं अपना साउंड चेक रिकॉर्ड नहीं कर पाया क्योंकि मैं थोड़ा सा बिजी हो गया था चीज़ें सेटअप करने में दैट्स अंकल लुई राइट देर गेटिंग रेडी Check base. When you were doing the sound check, you yeah. had this process. You step ahead. Yeah. You heard the monitors, how yeah. they are sounding. So the um is this, that's from the hall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me base in front. You came back to another area of the stage. Right. Then your place where you're gonna play. the bass from why why did you do that what what's your process when you doing sound check what are you checking uh this is not a formulated process sometimes when i feel like you know the sound that is happening outside sometimes we get a, we get the opportunity to go outside and check out what's happening right with the sound maybe by hearing other bands that are playing Uh, so when I know that something is not right, what I what I can do is try to hear the PA from where I am. And that's not a <coughs> not the best uh, process because the PA gives you different kind of uh, reflections when you're standing on stage. Yeah. But at the same time, there's this little bit of I idea that you can get of whether the bass is booming, whether there's, there's too much highs, the main things. Yeah. You know. So I turn the amp off. Uh okay so I, so I'm not getting uh, uh distracted or thinking that my, the bass sounds great because I'm listening to the amp so I'm mm. thinking oh the bass sounds damn good but outside it could be off and you will never know correct, you know? correct. so by putting the amp off you have an idea of that okay uh, the PA is on one two what does the PA sound like or what is it what's the kind of sound that's creating on stage because other musicians are also listening to that sound right not just you so mm. by stepping out of your zone and into the vicinity of other musicians or into a center spot which is common for everybody you can gauge okay this is the kind of sound that's happened to everybody and then you can alter the sound based on where you're standing yeah yeah so once you alter that you get a you get a basic idea and it's not the final idea of course you have to have faith in the engineer and say you know okay is it still sounding good Now I'm getting clarity on stage, but are you getting the same clarity out there? Yes, the low end might be less on stage, but are you getting enough low end outside? All these are the questions that you need to communicate with an engineer. Like it does not mean you stand there, it sounds good, and it's done. No, it, it, you're getting some kind of bargaining uh, right. thing. Right. So kind of uh, mention to the engineer also sometimes. Like I prefer highs in my tone. Right. And engineer sometimes roll it off outside. Yeah. The, the 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 thing is about. Uh, especially modern pa systems these high fi pa systems that happen is that they're generally bright correct so uh, if you ask for highs you have to be really certain which <laughs> frequency what yeah what no what it already sounds like outside that's true because sometimes the pa is already uh, eq right and it's bright now you ask for more brightness on the bass it can become really bright and you can hear a lot of fret noise and things that you don't like correct or when you're playing slap it might just be uh, piercing yeah. which is what you don't want hmm. so these are things that i mean it's taste it's personalized choice got it and uh, uh, this slap thing sorry i'm cutting you are you whenever you're slapping do you turn the compressor on for yourself or do you just control the level or the way yeah, you're touching yeah i i control the level from the way the bass sounds but i will give the engineer a slap sound just check the highs outside <laughs> in case it's harming his system or it's it's speaking there he can put a compression just at that much so just it could be just 10% but whereas from stage if i put a compressor then i'm i'm overriding it i might put 50% which is not required sounds good you know sounds because good. sometimes you put a lot of compressor based on what you hear from an amp or what you hear on your headphones and you feel like yeah man i need that compression because sounding <laughs> great in the headphones and all but when you put it outside huh. it might actually kill the sound you might not even hear it outside 
So it's allowing me to leave it to the engineer. Again, it's a matter of faith that the engineer knows what he's doing. And it's just enough that I can control. I know, okay, this much is going to be bright. And if it sounds too bright, I can tell him turn it down. Or if it's not bright, I can tell him turn it down. So what's your EQ on the amp most of the time? Today, it, today it's flat. It's a hard K, which I'm kind of just maintaining a flat thing. But otherwise, sometimes I like maybe some mid-range. Uh, if I push it up a little bit. But that will depend on the gig. Right now, I'm getting enough clarity, so I'm... Everything is everything is flat. Okay. Everything's yeah. flat. Yeah. Compression's off. That's the best sounding <laughs> answer. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you, Sheldon. All the secrets are out today. <laughs> Everybody's getting together. Sab log ready hai. Kisi ne meri jaisi t-shirt bhi pehni hai. Same. I'm sure you're going up now. I after this. Can I record your solos? Of course, you can record my solos. Just don't, just look at this iPad and don't record this iPad. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Shreya. And also Bob. So, अभी हम लोग अभिषेक का base देखने वाले हैं. It's like butter. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> keep the action very low. Right? Yeah, I keep I keep it very low. Yeah, yeah. The one. Yeah. Can like you know I kept this ramp like you know to play the mad guys and technique like you know. So that's at a slower tempo, but if you put it up to speed. And I don't, I mean like you know, it doesn't let your finger dig in too much because I play a little softly like you know. So that's the one. Yeah, yeah. The way you play, yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. And um, also like you know, I'm play, playing a lot of like you know, wider stuff. Like you know, in terms of like you know, interval, like you know, those kind of stuff. You know. So all this, for that I need a little low action as I... I mean, it's also gonna cause an injury in the long run. Exactly, that's the too high, and, too high play. and play on that. So you have this when you move your hand like this, you have like a shock needle kind of sensation right here, you know, yes. when your action is like pretty high like this, <laughs> you know. And uh, yeah. And so, what are the knobs? What does the yeah? So it's pretty simple, like you know, volume pickup selector, like you know, bass, mid, treble, you know, and um, uh, yeah, and so yeah. I, it's pretty much like you know, regular. Uh, I mean, regular like you know, the electronics are here. I mean, batteries and stuff, you know. And yeah. And this is PhD based. This PhD based. Yes. Can I see the base? Of course you can. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> the base day. Actually, it's the base. It's like all bases. Geek over yeah. everyone's bases. Nice. Nice. Huh? Smooth, little. <laughs> And as it's, it's little light, no? What what the woods? No, this is a buckeye bird. Buckeye, okay. you know. And this is maple. Oh. Yeah, this spotted maple. This this one maple, spotted maple. That's a north stand. North stand, yes. Yeah, I need this bread a bass. I need a little bit brighter sound because my other bass is a little bit darker in sound. That okay. with the Bartolini soap bar one. <laughs> That's why I put a knot stand here, a little bit like this register sound a little bit like a guitar. You know, that's why I put it here. With my fingers that have both been hurt since yesterday. Oh, no, man. Yeah. What? What so, we'll pray that... <laughs> no, of course. It, it, it works. I think I'll think. I think we all sound check that it works. A piece of flesh has come out from here. Oh. And something went underneath the nail here. So it's oh, like, how come? I'll choose a house. Okay. It's hurting me when I touch it, but... Oh, my God. God is there. Oh. Beautiful. What's the action? Very good. It's flat, no. Yeah. Is it low? You put a lighter gauge, right? At no, 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 this is like 45 Z. I put it because light. I get this really light because I'm also having 45s, you know? But this feels like really light. It's the setup, I think. And you have that thing, right, where you can put the radium on and this glows up? No, I have not put that. I oh, okay. He was asking me, but it's yeah. the volume down here. 
bass player is making too much noise. <laughs> and you got this too done, right? So I was looking. Yeah. I this one, yeah. This one Exactly. Stays. Stays. Exactly. I'm looking because that's why I'm sitting and playing. I'm looking to do one of these, like you know, so that like you know, I can play. Like when if I'm hanging the bass, also like you know, said, that's the thing. And you got an EMG, like yeah, lift, yeah, yeah. lift up. Ha. Huh. Exactly. So what is happening is a lot of modern players like the ramp because they want to play light. Exactly. But if you want to dig in, it's better without the ramp. Exactly. 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 Amazing. And like Stanley, they don't they don't have ramps. It's just magnets. There's magnets. Yeah. That's amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. And you have bolted, like you know. Uh, the bolts. Yeah. Bolted. These are amazing. Allen keys. Allen keys. Exactly. Exactly. Great. Great. Amazing. Seriously. You chose a wooden everything. So uh, this is popular bird. Okay. Oh, there's there's a maple in the middle. Yeah. And Asian mahogany at the back. And here is matching wenge, what do yeah. we call it? Yeah. With maple. Maple, exactly. Amazing. So I call it tiramisu because it's like tiramisu. <laughs> <laughs> I had the option to put sh shallow right? uh, or hip shot. But what I like is the open yeah. gears. Exactly. Exactly. The tuners are gears. the tuners are open gears. Oh, now yeah. the gears are much bigger than the shallows. Bigger. Exactly. So, I, so it can take a lot of attention. What wood have you used on your shoes? Uh, this uh, this is sandalwood. <laughs> custom, custom sandalwood on my shoes, you know. And you see like literally Diwali over here. <laughs> Oh,